Hi everyone, I'm Fred from the Australian National University and I'll be presenting our CVPR work on an efficient approach to detect human object interactions. Let's start with some background. A detection task usually consists of two subtasks. In this case, we want to first localize the interactive human and object instances and then recognize that interaction. Below is a sample output from our model. So how does it achieve this? As a two-stage method, it first performs object detection and appropriate filtering. The remaining detections will then be processed by the proposed unary pairwise transformer. Specifically, we refer to these detected humans and objects as unary tokens, which will go through transformer layers with self-attention. Subsequently, the resulted tokens will be exhaustively paired up to form pairwise tokens, an analogy to human object pairs. Additional transformer layers will then be employed to process these pairwise tokens. Finally, an MLP will be used to produce classification scores. Here is a more technical view of the model architecture. The model starts with a CNN backbone to produce image features, an encoder stack to further refine the image features, and a decoder stack with object queries to produce object detections. Next, to process the unary tokens, we modified the vanilla transformer layer to accommodate additional pairwise input of relative box spatial encodings, and then perform exhaustive pairing with multi-branch fusion, followed up by additional transformer layers and an MLP. In terms of the performance, our method with the lightest backbone already outperforms the previous state-of-the-art by a significant margin, in every category across two datasets, while heavier backbones contribute to further improvements. In addition, our method requires significantly less time to train and is able to run almost real-time on a single GPU. Furthermore, we demonstrate that our model has some really nice emergent properties. Specifically, we found that the unary tokens cooperate while the pairwise tokens compete. We first show this statistically by removing a certain layer and observe how this architectural change influences the classification scores of human object pairs. As shown here, compared to removing the corruptive layer, the complete model increases scores of positive examples by roughly 0.15 on average, while keeping the scores of negatives unchanged. This behavior can also be viewed in a scatter plot below, where we show the reference scores on the x-axis and the score delta on the y-axis. We can easily find that the vast majority of the positive examples have received a score increase. In a complementary manner, we observe that the competitive layer reduces the scores of hard negatives significantly by about 0.1. This is also shown in the scatter plot in particular, I'd like to draw your attention to the dense mass around the line y equals minus x, which shows that the scores of many negatives have been reduced to zero. For those with sharp observation, you might see that the competitive layer also reduces scores of positives moderately. This can in fact be compensated by using both types of layers together, where we see the model as a whole consolidating the positives while suppressing the negatives. To understand the complementary behaviors on an image level, we visualize the attention weight in both types of layers. We found that in the unary layer, humans and objects that form interactive pairs attend to each other. We hypothesize that this form of attention helps increase the scores of positive pairs. To validate, we manually overrode these attention weights to zero and in turn observed a score decrease in the corresponding pairs, corroborating the hypothesis. On the other hand, in the competitive layer, we can see all pairs are attending to the interactive ones, except for the interactive pairs themselves. This can be interpreted as a form of competition where interactive pairs suppress the non-interactive ones through the attention mechanism. By the same technique, we found that forcing interactive pairs to attend to themselves result in a score decrease. That brings an end to this video. If you want to know more about the paper, feel free to check out our project page. Thank you for tuning in.